Hi, my name is Chris, or Cly, and I do youth here at Living Hope. Uh, as we head into Easter, uh, I am just um, reminded of how Jesus brings us home to a family of grace. Um, you know, recently my wife and I, uh, we got a new place and um, it's, it's great. Uh, we've been having people over, um, but you know, the first time uh, I stepped in uh, to the building, it was completely empty. And I realized that a house is just a building, uh, but a home is is what the family is. See, when you have people over and uh, they come, uh, there is a warmth to that. And so um, when we think about Jesus and uh, the church, uh, Jesus doesn't just connect us back to himself. He brings us to a family, a community, a people, uh, where we actually get to meet and interact and share and love one another. Uh, in 1 John uh, 1.7, it says, uh, But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And so uh, the family that uh, Jesus brings us into is um, a unique place. Uh, the way that Jesus talks about His family is uh, so revolutionary. He says, uh, I do have a physical family, but I also have a spiritual family. Uh, you are my brothers and sisters and, and the people who uh, follow me and, and do my will and listen to God's word. You're my uh, mother and father even. And so there's a new community that is built and Jesus unites us to them. You know, right before um, my wife and I got married, uh, a lot of people told us that uh, when you marry someone, you don't just marry that person, you actually marry their family as well. And so when you unite to a person, there is a, a greater connection that you make with all of their relationships too. And so that's exactly what Jesus does for us. When we have a relationship with Jesus, He doesn't just connect us to Him and bring us to Him, He actually brings us into His family. And it's a family that is shaped uh, by love and mercy and grace. And so what Jesus did is, He actually came into the world, uh, He broke fellowship uh, with the Holy Spirit and the Father uh, to bring us not just to Himself, uh, but into the church as well. And so if you're out there and you're alone or you're struggling or you feel like you're walking the Christian faith all by yourself, uh, maybe you feel burnt out and tired, um, I encourage you, um, there is a family. There is a spiritual family and community for you. Uh, you might be uh, sitting there thinking, I don't want to burden someone else with all my problems and tell them about all my issues because then they have to carry it with me. But that's actually exactly what a family does. Uh, in this particular season, God might be calling you uh, to maybe help someone else. And so, uh, if you know people, if you have family members or friends or coworkers or classmates or teammates, uh, if you know kids or teenagers, college students, um, adults, uh, married couples, whoever it is, um, and they don't know our God, uh, they might be walking alone, they might not have a community uh, or a family for whatever reason. Uh, this would be a great opportunity to invite them to come uh, because Jesus invites us and brings us not just to himself, but to a spiritual home, a spiritual family, a spiritual community that's marked by love and acceptance and grace. Thank you.